I'm just, I'm going to turn this one on. Okay, now try it. Just talk towards the camera. It'll pick it up. We just saw the church. Now, this is one of the English fellows, and I don't know his name. Got it. Okay. There's Robert Kochi over in England. At one of the pubs. That's a Quonset hut. <laughs> this is the um, the emblem there of the um, falcon, which Dad has. Windsor Castle. This is in downtown London at the Palace. This is the front of the palace. Uh, this is in front of the palace. I don't know what this building is. It's magnificent, whatever it is. It's more like maybe a church. Double decker bus. This is the RAF Staff College Officers Mess. This is the paddock, an area of the base housing. Houses were all the same. There's Robert in his uniform. young man in his uniform in uh, Eaton, from Eaton, I assume. You'll see here a gentleman right there pouring drinks. He was at the officer's mess. He was one of the fellows that worked there. They always took good care of their people there. Robert always said they traveled in first class, and they did too. They had uh, crystal glasses and wine and sandwiches and cheese and 
very good spread out. I'm afraid I don't recognize all these beautiful buildings. It's a shame, but I, I don't. All those double-decker buses fascinated me. River Thames, as they called it. of the Houses of uh, Parliament where Robert used to go and give a lecture once a month and I would go in with him and I'd go shopping and then meet him for lunch. Went to lunch down a little alley where they had the best seafood, Trafalgar Square, where there must have been at least a zillion pigeons. careful where you walked here, I'll tell you. These are what they called um, sand paintings that they did on the sidewalk there. They were really very beautiful. This is Robert in Denmark, where he took a trip with the RAF staff people, and there's the famous Mere Maid. That's Peter Lawford, whom I heard sure that uh, you heard Robert and the Cooper speak of several times.
this is still 1956, after Robert toured Europe, Germany, and uh, Denmark. He came back to Maxwell Air Force Base. There's Margie and Bill and I. Barb and Tease were in school, of course. Bill getting off the picnic table bench, Granny, Teresa, Barb, Marge, and Tease, Bill. I don't know where we were. Picnic someplace, obviously. favorite pastimes, picnicking. That's me pregnant, obviously. There's Bill, Barb, Marge, and Tease. This is at the Indian Mounds across the state line in Georgia, where we went after one afternoon. Kids all went up the Indian Mounds, which of course are our graves, and I guess March and Bill decide to come back by themselves. You'll see them starting down the trail there, and Dad is taking their picture, and as they start to fall, why he drops the camera to catch the kids. There they are going up. Here comes Bill and March down. Whoops, that's where Dad dropped the camera. This is Lake Jordan. Man made lake at Ida C Case and Galloway, Galloway Gardens that we used to go to quite a bit. Bill and Marge playing in the water. There's me. That looks like Teresa and Granny and Barbara. Barb and Tease on the paddle boats, which they dearly loved. Dad with Marge and Bill. I'm sure he took Granny out too. Yeah, there's Granny with Dad and Bill and Marge. This is where Granny is leaving to go back to Denver, Colorado from our house in Montgomery. Of course, we had to stop at the Officers Club for breakfast in Mon at Montgomery Air Force Base, Maxwell Air Force Base. And I always had pecan wa waffles, which were very delicious. Notice Barbara and Teresa's hair, short airport where Granny took off. Big, isn't it? This is Montgomery, Alabama.
and in inspecting his airplane before he takes off on a flight. These are pictures that Dad took from inside the airplane. Beautiful clouds there. This is at Eglin Air Force Base where we've been swimming. We rented a cabin and uh, you can see the white sand. Oh, it was beautiful sand. We just loved it. Young William Matt is always he wanted to be carried and I wouldn't carry him. This is later that same day where everybody had undershirts on so that they well t shirts and blouses so that they wouldn't get sunburned. There I am out with the kids. Dad coming in for a landing in Denver. There's Aunt Jenny. They must be going to Grand Lake. Uncle Bill at their 517 King Street. Bill didn't like to have his picture taken. On the other hand, Granny was a big ham. There, all three of them are together. stops that we always paid. Harold, Granny, and Peter Lauper that was here from England stopping to see the snow and to get a water of the drink of the very tasty water.
this is from the dock of the Gruber's cabin that they built, and Harold helped with the boat. It was called Miss Fire, and uh, the cabin was humongous, two floors. The upstairs, one of the bedrooms had six double bunk beds. There's Jerry Gruber. There's Harold and Granny. They're pulling Jerry <coughs> off the uh, dock. He was a dwarf. Um, Johnny Gleason was his name. He was the son of Mrs. Gruber's sister, I think. Anyhow, he was a, a cousin of the Gruber's. Thank you, Annie Lane Gruber. His granny swing, swinging on a, this is after uh, Bill was born, I mean Matthew was born, and there's uh, Bill and a couple of their friends, and uh, Teresa, <laughs> Bubblegum, Matt's arrival, there's Bill, and there's Teresa and Barb looking at baby Matthew. Teresa had glasses on there. There's Margie, Bill. Here comes Mama getting ready to nurse uh, Matthew. There's Robert on the broom broom. His motorcycle. The kids love to have him take, him take them for a ride after he came home from work at night. These are the Larkins. They were Matthew's proxy godparents. He was baptized in Montgomery. There's Barb and Tease, Teresa and myself and Father Toomey, I believe his name was. The Larkin, Mrs. Larkin Holden, Matthew. This is the big moving day. We're getting ready to move to England. There's our house in Montgomery. That's the air conditioning unit in the back. Our patio. Bill and Marge playing cowboy with the little boy next door. Here we are getting on the train in Montgomery and it was Halloween night. The kids got to go trick-or-treating on the train which uh, they liked and surprised the passengers I'm sure. They uh, weren't prepared so the kids picked up mostly coins. Here we are boarding the USS America on our way to uh, England. It was a wonderful crossing, a beautiful ship. Tease, Barb, Marge, Bill, the streamers that, that the people threw to the passengers, 
all waving goodbye. There's a ferry taking cars across the river there, or wherever we were, and uh, you'll see the tugboat that, there it is, that came and turned us around and sent us out towards the ocean. This is the Purefoy Hotel where we used to go and have uh, dinner quite a bit. I must have cut my finger again because I have a big bandage on my finger. The uh, girls, if you notice, under their skirts had hoop skirts. They were big wire. And when we moved, it was a pain in the you-know-what because they would not fit in a suitcase. We had to get them in the car, which was not a heck of a lot of fun, I'll tell you. The outfit I have on is one that Dad brought when he went to Europe. He bought the skirt and the stole and the blouse and the hat and both. Mm, Belgium. This is the Ida Case in Callaway Gardens again. They had a lovely country store here. There it is there. They sold uh, wonderful hams. Very tasty.
oops, I goofed. The other one wasn't the store. This is the store, obviously, from the sound. Um, this is something your father tried several times to do, but I just realized in making this go backwards, if you'll reverse this now, you'll see how, what, he, what he meant by it. car parked in front of our house we called the bucket. I hated it with a passion. I could not park it. I would have to drive around till I found a corner. And I had no trouble parking the station wagon. There's Bill on his horse. Rocky horse. Here I am coming out of Singer's sewing machine. I had just made a dress for Margie, but took it in there to have buttonholes made for me. We are coming home from church, Margie carrying donuts like Barbara remembered. Bill thrown down his hat that his dad had bought him. He didn't want to wear it. He was mad because I wouldn't carry him. <laughs> he wouldn't wear his hat, so there too. Our beloved dog Taffy, Teresa dancing with her friend Joy. They had the record player outside, so they <laughs> they were dancing to music. Here's Barb dancing with her. Her name was Joyce, not Joy. obviously was not supposed to be picked up. Joyce was a little Jewish girl and we had uh, dinner with them one time during the holidays and it was a wonderful dinner. There's Marge with her punch me and Bill on his stick cowboy uh, horse. There it is lying on the ground. There's Taffy. I don't know how Dad and Harold managed it but when we moved from Colorado Springs to Montgomery, Harold built a big, huge crate with wire on the top so she could uh, breathe. Here we are having another picnic, and uh, we're on our way to Denver to Joan's wedding. Oh, we haven't left yet for the wedding. This is... <laughs> As I said, if you do this in reverse, you'll see what was supposed to happen. Hallelujah, there goes the bucket. I was never so glad to see anything drive off in all my life. Dad and the kids had painted it, and there it went. Here we are on a picnic, Barb feeding the kitty cat. We're on our way to uh, Denver to attend Joni's wedding, which was at St. Catherine's in Denver. There's Marge. There's Granny.
St. Catherine's Church, Bud, Aunt Peggy, Aunt Agnes, Lucille Fulham, Don Dewhurst, Norm Dewhurst, Barbara, she got so excited and emotional at the wedding, she cried and boo-hooed so loud she embarrassed herself. There's Uncle Harold standing there to the right. And here comes the bride and the groom, Tom and Joe Mernan. And, Tom Gamble talking to my brother Sylvester. Now they're getting in the bride and groom's car. They'll be going down to 46th and Federal for the wedding reception. And there's the bride's parents, Aunt Agnes and Uncle Walt. There's Barb, Patty, Norm, Betty and Don Dewhurst, Katie and Jeannie, myself and Uncle Harold. There's the flag that my father and I built. Bride getting ready to throw her bouquet. I was standing at the screen door, but now that's Aunt Agnes. I don't know why one of us didn't hold her veil. There she's going to throw her there. Okay, Patty caught it, and she was the next one to be married. That was real quick, but she just took a garter off and she's getting ready to throw it to the guys. <laughs> None of them would try and catch it. Tommy's having a fit. <laughs> she's going down and get the garter. <laughs> and here we are at uh, the firehouse in Denver, all the Gochi kids. Uncle Harold used to be a fireman and somehow or other he got us into uh, the firehouse so the kids could play around on the big red engine.
this is at, at Aunt Katie's house. There's Barb dancing with, I think, her younger brother. And there's she's dancing with Jeannie. And Aunt Katie's hiding behind the corner there. She won't come out. There's <laughs> Margie and Mike dancing together. <laughs> They're tr pushing and pulling, trying to get Aunt Katie out. She won't budge. This is where our ship stopped at uh, Ireland to take a family off that had been on board the SS America with us. That SS America had a ballroom and a uh, swimming pool, and it was a wonderful ship. Margie for formed a romance with a little boy that his folks were Americans, and they had a boy and a girl, and they were going to... Um, Ireland, they had to come back every three to five years to renew their citizenship. And uh, the little boy and Margie wrote letters back and forth all the time we were in England. And uh, it was quite a romance. This is Ireland. It was, uh, and here we are at uh, in our microbus that Dad picked up, and at our new home in uh, England at 19 Lime Walk. At Bracknell, there's Barb and Marge and Tease. And uh, there's somebody in the car there. I guess that's me. Yeah, there's me. No, that's Barb, Marge, Bill, Teresa. And that's me with Matthew. He's six weeks old there. Well, I guess older than that because he was six weeks when we left Montgomery. And this is... Uh, Bushy Park, the girls went from, uh, oh, there's the deer. The girls went from Bracknell, walk, walked from Lime Walk to Bracknell, got a train, changed in Reading, and got a bus and went through Bushy Park and saw the deer every day, and they never say anything to us, and I was very unhappy with them because they hadn't told us about them. Here we are at home, Bill's playing with somebody's dog. I don't know who had the dog. We didn't. And uh, there I am picking some flowers in our backyard. The houses were quite large. We were the only uh, people that had uh, a roof that had no snow on it in the wintertime because I couldn't stand to have the doors closed. The English people closed all the doors. And at uh, 4 o'clock at tea time, they would open the, the front room door and all the door handles were uh, up high so the little kids couldn't reach them. But I had uh, little stoves in every room that uh, kept the house warm. <laughs> Here's the kids building a snowman at first snow at Lime Walk. And uh, there's the Go Labs. Dad is, has taken another cross country. Go Labs were our neighbors in Capitol Heights, Maryland. And I believe you all met Rose Go Lab when she came to visit us. That's her, and that's her husband, John. He was a maitre d' at a very fancy restaurant in Washington, D.C. There's the Gochi House, Gochi Kids, and Katie and Harold. I don't know. Let's see, there's snow on the ground, so they're probably not going to go to Grand Lake on this trip with it. Dad came home. There's the Gochi clan getting into the car. Carol throwing a snowball. Probably a dad who's taking the pictures. There's Dad, Granny, Aunt Jenny. That's 517 King Street. And there's Katie. Dad throwing a snowball. There's great grandma. That was Uncle Bill's mother. And she, oh goodness, she was in her 90s when she passed away. There's Dad and Granny and Uncle Harold taking a walk out in front. 
6th Avenue there in the background. There's Marcella and Patty coming out from where they were living at the time. The, uh, this is the Lincoln Cathedral, which was up in northern England, and that's myself and the two girls. We went up there to um, take in the sights around Lincoln Town and go to the Passing Out Parade in Cran Cranwell. I don't know why they called it a Passing Out Parade, but they did. I've got something or other that I got from the Lincoln Cathedral. I think they were... I want to say nymphs, but that, I don't remember exactly what I got, but there we are in, uh, the, by the church there, the graveyard, I guess it is, and this is the, the town of Lincoln, see how narrow the street is, I hated driving that bus there, to, especially when I was pregnant, I'd just barely get in. And it was high up to step up, and then there, there's the passing out parade. It was some sort of a ceremony for the cadets, and I have no idea why it was called passing out. And uh, Dad had some sort of a function there. I have no idea what it was now. And there's a flyby, which is quite nice. The uh, pretty soon we'll see a, a fellow in uh, kilts. But there's a, I was going to say that white hat looks like an Indian's hat, but I don't think so. They had uh, the Indians there from India, of course. There's a gentleman with kilts uh, in front of the gal with the white hat. You could tell by his uh, tam o' shantern. And when they uh, break up from watching the parade, you'll see him. There he is there. This is, of course, Easter Sunday at uh, 19 Lime Walk, Marge and Bill, <laughs> and bow tie, Dad and Barb and Tease. That was Billy Head there. There's Matthew. dress I've got on. I can't, I, it's navy blue with uh, some figures in it from Figaro. I don't know why in the world they ever made a dress with the figure of op opera figures on it, but they did. And I, I liked it very much. I didn't buy it for that, though. I bought it just because I liked it. Matthew's all inquisitive. And this is uh, going to the Zoo, the Whips, Whipsnade Zoo. Here we are in Bushy Park feeding the deer of all things cigarettes. They liked, <laughs> they liked them, and as far as I know, they never got sick from them. But uh, it's awfully dark there. It wasn't at night, though. I don't know why. It's, it's probably just the camera. And I don't think that was Whipsnade Zoo that 
zoo that I said before I got a little ahead of myself, I think. This is Windsor Castle in the background, and these are flowers around a roundabout, which is a circle, and uh, very confusing for, to be driving around, I'll tell you. But the flowers were quite lovely, and I was admiring them. This is Irish football, and uh, then we'll see some hurling also. Father Dominic probably took us to see these things. He was an Irish Catholic priest that used to come to our house once a week for dinner, and uh, he took us to see the Irish football and the hurling, and he took us to a Irish fair. It was He was a neat guy. He was The last time I heard from him was two years ago, and that's strictly my fault that I haven't heard again because I have not written back. I don't know if he's still alive or not, I, there'd be no way I could find out that I know of. These are tulips at the Staff College. This must be the Irish fair that we went to. There's uh, Teresa, Barb, myself, Bill riding on a donkey. No, I guess it wasn't the, f yes, there, there's a little Irish lassies doing the Irish jig. It was great fun. This is the, uh, polo game being played at Windsor. I don't remember if Prince Philip was there then or not. This was the marine retreat for Prince Philip. That uh, <coughs> was Barbara holding up the sign, so that meant that Barbara and Teresa and I went. Each function, Ed got uh, so many tickets, I guess it must have been three, because when I went, I took the girls, and uh, he usually took March and Bill. I don't know what, uh, well, I guess uh, Prince Philip was a marine, and that's why they're doing it for him. I don't know, but they're affairs were always very colorful.
this is another affair. This is called The Massing of Colors. It was on the Queen's birthday, which I guess would be, I believe I saw in Entertainment Tonight that her birthday was today, and today she is 66. So we were there for her birthday, the massing of the colors. And there is the queen on the white horse. See the fellas with their uh, tall hats? This is the changing of the uh, guard at the palace. Uh, believe changing of the horse guards and here the everything's over with sorry I goofed again this is the changing of the horse guards This, of course, is at the palace in London. They certainly have a lot of tradition. It's quite a, well, everything's very colorful, and the soldiers when they're standing guard, they do not turn their heads, they do not move their eyes, they just, just stand there. Often wondered if they had to sneeze, what in the world they would do. Home of the Pigeons, Trafalgar Square. Matthew was there in his pram. I love those things. I would like to have brought one back. Ooh, look at those things land on your hand. They were fun. <laughs> if they didn't get you. <laughs>
this is a little country road going from Windsor to Ascot where the Queen was going to Ascot for the races. There's the Queen and Prince Philip and Margaret's in here someplace. I don't know if I'll recognize her or not. She probably was in the second carriage there. That was quite a sight to see, I'll tell you. And here's a swing that Billy's riding in our backyard on Lime Walk. And there's March on the same swing. I think we took that back to Georgia with us, if I'm not mistaken. Looks very familiar. Here we are on the patch. Looks like the RAF guys are getting ready to go someplace. And uh, uh, they're going to it's His Majesty's ship, the Sea Eagle, and there's the bus that they're going to get on that's going to take them to the ship, and I'm sure that that fellow from the RAF Staff College is around someplace. Oh, there's Al Deer. He wrote Nine Lives. I've got the book downstairs, or did have. He was quite a nice, very nice guy, and there's His Majesty's Maybe there's hell to hear some in his nose. <laughs> there's Robert. And, oh, he's bad. I don't know if we'll see the fellow with the patch over his eye or not. I can't remember what we call him, one eye something or other, but I can't remember his name. And there, of course, are the famous seagulls getting a free ride, looking for a handout. Matthew in his swing in the backyard at Lime Walk. Bill on his swing. Must be Teresa pushing him. There's Margie. This is a an affair at school, like field day, like we have at our schools. They had uh, one-legged races and gunny sack. And <laughs> there's Margie. See her? Look at her go. She's. Uh, pretty good little athlete and there's the spectators there on the side there's Bill with me and uh, that's the gal I went to Holland with sitting next to me I can't remember her name though there's a couple of the dads there's the gunny sack race <laughs> I, think that, I think Bill might have been in here there there's Margie in the wheelbarrow race pushing some little kid along Matthew in his playpen must be outside I'm sure because uh, we didn't keep it in the house what in the world is he hugging there a dog no somebody <laughs> me <laughs> and here we have Bill and Marge Barb and Tease oh this is uh Robin Hood that was this is our trip to Scotland and this is a palace in Scotland that I drove all the kids except Matt to Scotland and Bill got car sick and I could not find a parking place so I went up to the guard and told him my predicament and he had me drive into the palace grounds and boy I tell you there was just about a half inch on each side of the microbus and we went in there and uh, he had me take the kids to see the, the castle and he cleaned up the mess, which was uh, 
<laughs> Very nice indeed. This could be down south, which is Cornwall. And then we went from we went from Scotland to Cornwall to Wales. And while we were in Scotland, we took a a trip on a a boat that went up the Loch Ness lake and when we were there we could not find a place to stay so we went over to the sheriff's office and he had all of us stay with him and his family and we were there two nights and for years we uh, corresponded at Christmas time those are the swings there at uh, Block Ness that little little town there's a, a horse the kids were riding whoops somebody bumped their head looked like they were all having a good time <laughs> and this is the ship that had the uh, um, they had a group of girls that were traveling by bike and they had their bikes on board the ship and they gave a little dance for us we stopped and we got off. There they are. There's the dancers doing the Scottish something or other. We stopped when we let these gals off and got to go in oh, a little ways up the, the hills there. And I got some, um, oh dear, Heather that I sent home to Marcella and all the family. And I probably still have some in my stuff never did see the Loch Ness Monster however this is an air show that dad went to up in Farnsboro, which he was quite happy to be able to go check out.
this is the famous river in France, but I couldn't tell you what it is. That's uh, one of the, that was Cyclops Brown, that's the guy up in the Eiffel Tower that uh, we saw shots of the Eiffel Tower before. This is uh, downtown Paris. The uh, Frenchmen I did not care for. They were, they could understand an English as well as I could, but they would admit it for anything. There's the famous French lovers. The uh, Frenchmen, as I say, would not, pre they'd pretend they didn't understand what you were saying and drive you crazy. They were rude. Some more lovers. Eiffel Tower again. I don't know why we go up and down on these, but we do. <laughs> That was fun up there. I didn't go up there this time. This is Dad was over there then. I wasn't with him. Washington, D.C., that was Cyclops Brown, electric streetcars, the Capitol, Jefferson Monument. I don't recognize him. That is uh, the church, I think, where the president, yeah, there's the president coming out of church. Which president would that have been? I can, Eisenhower. Can't remember, maybe we can see who it is, but I know it's the president. Secret Service men there. I don't know what happened, but that's Teresa on a bike, and it looks like Myrna. We have skipped, that's Jeannie. Uh, who the heck is that? Well, that's that.
that's Cyclops Brown. This is in an aircraft. Uh, Lady and Sir Elworthy, who were the, well, the base commander at the RAF Staff College. This is in an aircraft, obviously. They must be going to the States. Dad must have been with them, taking their photograph. I, <laughs> wherever we were, your father went on cross country, on cross country, on cross country. But that was all right. Some of them I would have liked to have gone with them. Some I was not unhappy about having to stay home at all. This is uh, Battersea Park in uh, London. It's like Illich's or Lakeside. There's Bill on the horse. That was Barb next to him. And there they're on a train, I believe. Oh, that was Barb and Tease, I think. There's Margie. That's me with one of the kids. Barbin Bill. All sorts of neat rides there. Isn't that a beautiful expression?
here's Matthew taking his first steps. <laughs> Whoops. we're having a picnic and there's Irene the girl that uh, was from Germany and took care of Matthew and Carl Weaver one of Barbara's boyfriends we were having a picnic at the uh, zoo This was great fun. It was a horrible day, but that didn't stop anything going on. These, this is a um, veteran car run to Brighton. They started in London and drove these things in the rain clear down to Brighton, which was quite a long ways. Uh, I had to talk your, to your father like a Dutch uncle to get him to take us because he didn't think they'd be out there on a day like this, but we finally decided to go and see, and oh, it was really something to see these old cars and cars that I had never ever seen anything like this before. This is the Lord Mayor's Parade. That was quite a sight. That carriage was gold and uh, I don't know what the occasion was except that it was the Lord Mayor's Parade. They had a lot of floats, but the best thing to see was that uh, gold uh, carriage that they had. There's flappers of the 20s, I guess, and Hitler's boot, all sorts of different uh, floats. V for victory with Churchill. There's Cowboy Bill. That's our microbus in back of him. There's the cowboy again. These are just shots around the house there with the kids. There's Matthew riding the rocking horse. I had a salad saddle made for the kids when we were over there. I think Marge and Bill used to fight over whose it was. I really don't remember who it belonged to. It was one of either Margie's or Bill's. I'm not sure. But, uh, you see, Matthew didn't fit into the saddle as yet. <laughs> and then uh, there's Irene taking Matt for his stroll in the pram. They'd all, all the little German girls would take the kids out for a walk and get together and converse in Germany, which they didn't, in German, which they didn't have too much of a chance to do. Here I'm pregnant with Tim, I can tell by that ugly outfit I had on. I made that darn thing, <laughs> and I hated it, but I made it so I was going to wear it, so there too. There's a so famous future soccer player. I uh, did learn to sew over there because you couldn't find anything at the BX, and the sizes were so something that we didn't recognize when we went into the stores. So. I made most of the girls' skirts and blouses, but I, for some reason or other, I could not sew for myself. They were ugly.
This is the trip that I took to Holland with my girlfriend, Madeline. We were there for three days after we saw the beautiful, beautiful tulips. We went in a little boat across the water to a fishing village where we got to go into a, a village house and saw where they slept and how they kept the plates up on the wall. And the fishing boats were out fishing. There's the fellow singing, playing his accordion, and he had wooden shoes on. And there's uh, a little girl with her wooden shoes and an apron in the little village. There's a Dutch mill. I just used to love to see Dutch mills and old covered bridges. All those old historical things really were enjoyable. There's a guy with his washout on the line. There's some people in their dress. We were getting, oh, there's downtown Amsterdam where all the people were on bicycles commuting to work. <clears throat> they had as many bicycles as that in Reading, England. And we're getting ready to go out to a park where they had uh, a ceremony changing of the flags or colors or something here. They're getting set up for it where Queen Wilhelmina came out and was uh, the guest and we were part of watching that ceremony. There go the flags. There's one, two, three, four, five, six flags being raised, seven, eight, they were nine, <laughs> ten, they were, this was in Holland and each of the flags were like El Paso County or what have you. There's another windmill. They were such fun. There's the White Cliffs of Dover that we saw crossing the English Channel on a boat on our way to Switzerland, Rome, and Paris, Barb Tease and I. Here we're on the train taking pictures of Switzerland. That evening we had had trout in the dining car. Teresa got a bone stuck in her throat. We had everybody on the train coming by the compartment telling her to eat bread and do this and that to get rid of the bone in her throat. Thank goodness she did. Here we are in uh, Rome. That was a wonderful trip. There's Barb and Tees, and of course uh, there's Ramon. He was Teresa's boyfriend. He was the elevator boy in the hotel, and he wrote Nas Dead for Teresa's hand in marriage. Uh, the meals were fantastic, about seven or eight course dinner. We went to churches and churches and churches. Oh, it was wonderful. We went to the Vatican. The girls had a couple of dates, but 
mother was right along with them because those Italian boys were going around pinching girls' fannies, and even mine, even though I was pregnant. Three coins in a fountain, where I uh, bought some beautiful kid gloves around the corner from there, inside of churches. I took a lot of pictures of insides of churches. That's the uh, Colosseum, the ruins, and I've forgotten what that is. We climbed those stairs several times a day because we went to Mass every morning in that uh, particular church that was real close to our hotel. We took a little side trip, I think it was to Milan, and there we were at a sidewalk cafe having a glass of wine and a pigeon just missed Teresa's glass of wine. <laughs> Barbin, her boyfriend, and then uh, this is some of the housing that was outside of, well, in Rome, and there's a train yard. It's real interesting, isn't it? <laughs> and you'll see uh, there's a bunch of ladies that we were with on the tour. They were, uh, we went with a Catholic group. This is obviously on a train. I don't know what happened to our trip to the Vatican because we did go there and the uh, Pope walked right by us when we were in the, in the church. This is uh, with the girls on top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris sitting at a sidewalk cafe. This is a British aircraft carrier that uh, Robert was on.
This is back in Bracknell, the little church where Marge made her first communion. This is May 1959. There she is there in her little veil. This is the Tower of London. This is the wax works of Madame Tussard. Oh, I guess we haven't gotten there yet. That still looks like this is the uh, Madame Tussard's wax works. That was the other was the Tower of L uh, London in the back of Dad. This is Hyde Park in downtown. London across from our hotel where we stayed. They had a place for the um, American people to stay and that was the a, a soapbox orator. They had, oh, they had them all up and down the park just about every day, every place. <laughs> they were quite interesting. This was Navy Week at uh, Bracknell. There's the gentleman that always took care of the RAF staff people or the RAF staff students and what have you. This is uh, a softball game.
This is another field day at Ramslade School. There went Willie. gal in the raincoat is Annie Corden Finlayson. She was a character. She was a lady of something or other and we she loaned us our her flat in London one night when Dad and I stayed overnight. Had satin sheets, was really neat. This is the 4th of July on the patch. We, <laughs> the Americans got together and had a parade. Uh, the English enjoyed it. I don't know what the gypsies thought of it. We had gypsies that lived, oh, about three blocks in back of us, just off the camp. It was all fenced off, but uh, it was kind of spooky having the kids go over there and play sometimes.
they're right there in the background, right over the and back of the trees. There, that's where the gypsies were. This was the uh, Henley Regatta race that we all saw from the uh, Jerry Edwards home. He and his wife were Canadian, and of course they had an exorbitant amount that they could spend on housing over there, and they rented this, oh, it was a huge house, and the yard, my goodness, you could put our house, the next door neighbor's house, and our yards into their front yard. It was fantastic, just wonderful. This is a cruise in the port of London. This, as you can see, is Timothy's arrival. This is up at Aldershot, England, an army base where Mary Cox was my nurse and she took care of us and she was a great, great friend. She's been to, she moved to Australia and she's been to visit us a couple times. There is uh, Barbara. She had just had chicken pox and because of her scarring, she had plastic surgery. I could have died when I saw her. She, a guy used a wire brush on her and oh god her whole face was a scab. She couldn't talk, she couldn't laugh. It was just terrible. <laughs> 